on the football field. He's known as number 83 tight end Tom Crabtree, but at home he's a busy husband and father helping his wife manage a disease she's had since the first time they met. We met in high school. Um, we met the summer before our junior year of high school. I was playing summer basketball in the gym and she came walking through with the rest of the cheerleading squad and hey, you know, that was it. Smitten at first sight, it didn't take Tom long to realize something else was different about Chelsea. I wore an insulin pump when we met, so that probably kick-started the conversation, I would guess, because most people kind of, what is that? <laughs> that was the moment Tom learned Chelsea was battling type 1 diabetes. It really didn't scare me. Um, it was more, I was, I was more interested and kind of eager to learn about it than anything else. Learn he did. Tom found out type 1 is an autoimmune disease that is not preventable. A person's body destroys insulin producing cells in the pancreas, requiring them to be dependent on insulin to survive. For Chelsea, she learned she was diabetic at the age of four. I was just experiencing some weird behavioral changes. I became really aggressive with my sisters and with my cousins and was also, you know, showing signs of being very thirsty, using the restroom a lot, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. From then, things quickly changed. Chelsea wasn't allowed to eat anything with sugar in the top three ingredients. She had to wear an insulin pump and test her blood sugar daily, something Tom also had to learn even before the two were married in 2009. He checked my blood sugar from, you know, the very beginning. He gave me injections. He's changed my pump site for me. He's, he's done it all very bravely. <laughs> now with the one-year-old at home and another baby due any day, Team Crabtree has decided to go public. We got, got involved with uh, JDRF, which specializes in uh, you know, hopefully finding a cure and treating and preventing type 1 diabetes. This May, JDRF will hold their annual Walk to Cure Diabetes, with the Crabtree serving as walk ambassadors. We have such great supporters that help us in our mission, and, um, you know, I think that they can, you know, definitely network and meet with people, and uh, it just makes a world of difference for them to have a support system. A support system that's there every step of the way start to finish. We're, we're blessed in a way in that diabetes is something that you can live with. If you take the time and effort, and it does take a lot of work. With this disease, you kind of, it's there every day. It's kind of in your face. You see it every day. You see checking the blood sugar, taking shots. It's definitely a brave thing, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of it. And Chelsea is far from alone. More than 3 million Americans currently live with type 1. 80 people are diagnosed each day. As for a cure, well, doctors say we're closer than ever. Jenny Evans, NBC 26.